What's up, YouTube? Um, going to do a quick haul video here of just some stuff I picked up in the last couple weeks. Um, hopefully, you guys have watched a couple of my original art videos. I did my Peter Panzerfaust one that was up. Last time I checked, not too many people watched it, but maybe you guys aren't interested in that. But it's my entire Peter Panzerfaust collection, original art collection. Um, then I do have other videos, multiple videos. I think there's four of them that I'm posting uh, that have the uh, the rest of my original art collection. There's some pretty nice pieces in there. They're not all published pieces, but there are quite a few published pieces in there. Um, yeah, actually, there's not everything's not in those videos. I just realized because I have some stuff. Hmm. Did I do the ones out? Yeah, I think I did do the ones out my wall. But uh, yeah, so th they'll be coming up. Now, in one of those videos, I did show a couple pieces that I'm going to show again, but they were more at the end of the video and kind of like a sneak peek for people who stayed till the end. But um, yeah, so I figured I'd do a quick video here and uh, show you guys what I picked up recently. Now, um, let me just start off with this here because it's not really comic related somewhat, even though I think there is a comic book of this. Um, but it's just something I, I read. I, I do read a lot of novels. Um, just for entertainment purposes and you know, when I'm laying in bed and stuff like that. Um, and I've been reading, I read fantasy stuff and I've been reading it since I was a kid, you know, like a long, long time. Um, and of course, you know, I've read all of the, uh, the greats, you know, the, uh, um, Lord of the Rings and, you know, Tolkien. I've read all of the Tolkien books, uh, the Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and Cimmerillion and all the other ones, you know. But uh, also, I had some other uh, favorite authors. Um, of course, the Terry Brooks is one of my favorite authors with, uh, with all the books he's written in the, the Shannara series and also all the, uh, the other one, like uh, Mag uh, the Land uh, what's it called? Uh, Magic uh, uh, Landover. Uh, I can't remember the name of the book, but uh, Black Unicorn, things like that. Even the, you know, the, the ones that aren't part of the Shannara series. Um, I just really like his stuff. I read... Him, I, I haven't read everything yet because he's a lot. Of, he has a lot of more in the last few years I haven't read um, that he's put out. Um, but I am catching up. Um, didn't just made a purchase this weekend or last weekend. Um, uh, a graphic novel for him. Hmm. But did this one here? There is actually a comic out there somewhere. I think you know I don't own it. But uh, but this is my other favorite art, uh, writer. Um, this is uh, by Raymond Feist. And it's the first book that I actually got me into reading him, and it's called uh, Magician. Um, it's about a magician called Pug, um, also one of my favorite dogs because they're so goofy looking. But this one here I had to get, it was like 35 bucks, um, and it's never been really opened or read, but it's signed by Raymond Feist on the inside. So well, that's pretty cool. Um, and it's like some kind of deluxe edition, hardcover edition by uh, Voyager. Don't really know much about the book. I don't know if thirty-five dollars is good for it, uh, good price for it. But I figure anything signed by him is, is a good price in my eyes. So this is good. This is not getting read. Um, I read all the books anyway, but this is going to go up on my shelf. Um, signed edition with all my other signed editions, and that's it. Um, okay, so uh, let's get into the other comics. The comics, I mean. Uh, let me start off with these because these are. This one here is not that big of a deal. I, probably, I overpaid for this anyway. This is a Metro Natural number one. And if this is like a seven printing or something like that. I think it's a seven print. It was like 10 bucks or 11 bucks. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I just wanted it, you know, it's a crumb book, so uh, whatever. And I also got, the, oh, I, I, I bought this book first here and I added this one on kind of, I like to buy more than one book if, it's, if I can. You know, just to kind of combine shipping on and save a little bit of money. Um, but I'm not really saving in money because I'm spending more money on a book I don't really, really care about. But uh, this one is a one I, I paid like 30, about $33, I think it was, right around there. And I wish I would have bought this years ago at my local for 25 but I didn't. I finally pulled the trigger on one, though, and it's a really nice copy. This is Punisher, Kills the Marvel Universe. Now, I'm talking a little fast here, if you haven't noticed, uh, because I'm trying to get this video done pretty quickly, and I don't want to be spending uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes with you guys anymore, because um, I know it's a long time to watch the video. Okay, let me slow down a little bit. Okay, so these are ones I purchased, um, pre-ordered a while back. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I want to say probably 60, 70 bucks, maybe 80, I, I don't know. I really don't remember. But it's J. Scott Campbell stuff. Um, first one is the it's the Wonder Woman 750. 
um, the, set, the set he did. Uh, I don't know if there's more books in this, um, but I was a these are the ones I was able to get at least. They are unsigned, and that's the way I like to get them. I don't like buying signed books from them, because if I get a signature, I like to have it, have it uh, witnessed and graded. I, I just don't like it, you know. Unfortunately, he charges $20 or even more, I don't know anymore. But uh, it's not that big of a deal to me anymore. I got so many books signed by him, it's not that big of a deal. This is the one copy. I don't know which issue this is, ABC, whatever. Um, this is the Justice League one. You got the just Hall of Justice in the background there. It's okay. I, I like it. Um, this is one of my, my, my favorite ones. This is the Amazonian with the Amazonians behind there. Uh, pretty cool. Um, this is more like the uh, Wonder Woman first movie. Recent one. <coughs> and this is uh, also... I love both of these. I can't. I have a hard time picking which one's my favorite. But this is the uh, more War, uh, Wonder Woman Part Two movie, which I haven't obviously seen. But uh, I know it has to do with World War Two and stuff. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so that's a pretty cool cover, also. I think because I'm a uh, former military, uh, um, I probably like this one a little bit better, maybe. But I also like that Golden Age kind of look. So. That's what I got for them. Now this one here, uh, I'll do a quick story once I get to the artwork. But uh, I bought this off a guy. That I, I, be, I buy. I've been buying some Linzer stuff off of. <coughs> I, spent, I, spent, I paid about eighty dollars for this. And I kind of wish I would have paid a little less, but you know, oh well. He actually had a price tag on it for seventy-five bucks. But this is a Wonder Woman that I did not have. This is Alex Gardner cover for six fourteen. I think this is a variant cover actually. Um, I could be wrong about that. It might not be a variant cover, but whatever. This is a pricier book. I paid like eighty bucks for it. Um, it's a nice. It's a nice shape. It's a. It's a near mint, maybe about nine two or so. Um, but uh, yeah, I know I've seen these graded for over hundred. So this is obviously not graded, but um, I have just about the entire collection of this uh, of of. Uh, well, no, I guess I don't have the entire collection. I don't have the first volume, but I have the volume with George Perez, all the one I have where Adam, uh, Adam Hughes did covers and stuff. I have that just about entire collection. This is kind of a continuation at the end, kind of, I don't know, whatever. Ignore what I just said. But I, I wanted it, you know, because I, I, I have a lot of the, the issues right around there. Um, that's one I didn't have. Um, now this is one also I got, I do not remember how much I paid for it. It has tape on the spine, it's, it's tape on the one edge, uh, it's not great, but uh, it's a uh, Fantastic Four number 9, and it does have Subby on the cover there. Um, so this is one I didn't have for Fantastic Four. I'm trying to get a few Fantastic Four books now. I do have the number one, issue number one. Um, do I have it over here actually? Maybe I can show you guys. I have my little case over here now. Um, so, yeah, I do have it right here. I'll show it to you guys. You guys who haven't seen it yet. Um, this, I got my Fantastic Four number one. It, it is, they did get it restored. It, I mean, it is, they did say it was restored because of tape. Um, and they said there's amateur restoration, small amount of color touch on cover, top edge of back cover trim, cover and center fold reattached with tape, moderate amount of tape on cover and tear. However, <laughs> it's a 1.8 restored, uh, and I own it, and it's signed by Stan Lee right before he died. Got it signed at the Rhode Island Comic Con where I actually bought it at for 2100 bucks. Um, of course, I didn't know it was restored. We get a restore rating. I knew it was horrible condition, but. But even now, I think, it, even at $2,100, I think this book is worth quite a bit more than that now, even with the restoration. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, so I did get this book. This was, like, only, like, 80 bucks too. So I'm happy to get that. I do want to get the, uh, what issue is it, number four or number five? I can't remember what issue it is, but the one with, like, the first Silver Age sub, Mariner. So I got that. Um, now, last comic before I get into some artwork I got. Um, this one here is a book that I've wanted for quite a while, and I finally just got around to buying one. Because um, the prices are usually pretty high on these books in the higher grades, and I was trying to go for a higher grade, but 
This one popped up and it's a grade I can live with. Um, this is a 9.2 CGC, um, which is fine. I only paid $2.25 for it. It's probably about what it's worth actually, but um, um, the 9.8s and stuff go for way, way high. You know, so I, I just wanted to get it out of the way and get it over with and I'm fine with this. I don't really plan to upgrade or anything. Um, but I finally got it and I've been wanting it for a long, long time. So this is uh, the Spider-Man Platinum. You can see it's Spider-Man. Where does it say Pla oh, Platinum Edition right there in the middle? With a lizard appearance. Um, so yeah, so I finally got that out of the way. That was a big book for me to get out of the way. Um, now, on to the original art stuff. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. What I wanted to say about this guy here at JC Comics over there in New Jersey. Uh, just to say, I, I bought two pieces of art from him also, along with numerous pieces previously to this. Um, not a whole, whole lot, but I spent quite a bit of money with him. Um, and he kind of uh, just lost my business. I mean, I'm just not gonna buy anything from him. I didn't even contact him about it, but I'm not even gonna bother, just wipe my hands of it and move on. Plenty of other people to buy, spend my money on, you know, with. Uh, so, yeah, so I bought this piece here. Okay, I'll tell you the story from this JC Comics. Um, he has a lot of original artwork or a lot of stuff that he's selling for this guy named Zekel's Estate that um, used to work for Linzer, something like that. But he has lots of prints and stuff, which I'm not, not interested in prints, especially what he has them starting off at, like $39.99. I mean, Linzer sells them for $20. Or not even, I think. I think maybe $10. Bucks. I, don't, I don't remember. I have a number of prints I bought right from Linzer, but it's way, which was way worth, way cheaper than what this guy's asking for. Um, but uh, he has some original art that I've, I've gotten. Um, actually, a few pieces actually by Linzer. This is one. This is Jim Blin. Got this for about seventy-five bucks. Okay, so I was fine with that price. It's not. I mean, it's, I, I do want to get a, a Linzer. I, I mean, a blunt piece that has Catwoman original piece of art. However, um, this is what I was able to get. I do have another piece that's uh, similar to this um, that I got previously. Um, I don't think from him, but it's from someone else. So, oh, it was from. Um, no, it's it's a similar kind of looking piece, but I got it from Comic Link actually, and I think that one I paid like like a hundred and ten for. So I did pretty good on that one, I think. Now this is the other piece I bought because I bought this one. This one was like 75 bucks, something like that. And then it was also $17 and something cents shipping. That's another thing. This guy's shipping cost prices are insane. It's just way above what they should be. Um, he was charging 17 something just to ship this. And it's like this shipping, if you look at multiple items, it's just like they're all over the place. There's no rhyme or reason to the price. Maybe he just thinks he's not... He'll make more money on the shipping than he will on selling the thing or something. I don't know. But a few days later, so I paid for this, thought it was shipping. Then I saw this pop up and I, I had to buy it. Um, so I paid 400 for this, plus I paid like an, um, and plus taxes now. You know, eBay pays taxes, which is like, I'm at the point now where I'm about ready to stop buying on eBay because of that. Because um, the taxes are killing me now. Um, but I also paid $24 in shipping for this, okay? So this is what I got. I paid $400 for this. And the reason I paid $400 for it is because of what it is. It's a Mad Max piece by Linzer. And I have a lot of Linzer pieces, original art, that are basically Dawn related and stuff like that. Um, I do have the one piece that is uh, Clockwork Orange. Um, now, he did show a picture on his Facebook page of a trilogy of things. One was my Clockwork Orange picture. Another one was Snake Plissken, which I do not own. And I think this was the other one. That I didn't really remember. I didn't, couldn't figure out who it was when I first looked at it. But I think this is the third one. I'm going to have to go back and look. Uh, so now I, I believe I own two of those that he posted on his Facebook page. It's like he, I guess he takes pictures of stuff and then... And he did these years ago, 2007. He just recently, within the last six months, posted the pictures on his Facebook page. Like a kind of like, oh, looking back kind of thing. So I needed to get that. Um, this is going to get framed. It's going to be up on the wall next to my clockwork orange. So what happened was I got, I got waited. They shipped them both in the mail. And I get them. 
and they're both together in the same box, in the same, not even a box, it's in a, an envelope. It has a, the, the, the stiff backboard, like it's not even cardboard, it's like hard wood almost, but this was together. Not separately shipped, so I paid for shipping on both of them, but they shipped them together and paid one price, which I know was way, way less than like 40 bucks that I paid. So this guy here, JC Comics, um, I don't know if anyone even knows him in New Jersey, but um, he lost my business. I'm not buying anything. I, I've already deleted it. I'm not even following him on eBay anymore. So I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sure I, if I would have contacted him and made a stink about it, but I just prefer just not the mess. It's not worth my time. You know, I, I have too, I'm too busy <laughs> to, to do stuff like that um, for, for just a little bit of money. It's not really worth it. But, um, yeah, you guys are probably saying you should have contacted him, but whatever. I'm just not going to buy them off him anymore. Now, this one here I got off of J. Scott, I mean, J. Scott Campbell, um, uh, Linzer. Uh, I bought directly from him, from his eBay page. I, he had posted this on his Facebook page, but I don't buy anything off him on Facebook because he doesn't put a price on it. You have to private message him to get a price, and I don't like that. Um, I'd rather he just put the price on what do you want for it tell me what you want if I like it I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it I'll, I'll buy it off you but if something doesn't sell he usually goes ahead and puts it on his eBay page and he puts a price on it there so this came up this got posted he wanted 400 bucks for this so I paid the same amount as I paid for this um, the, this piece um, and it was the same thing it was the $20 in shipping um, and it was $25 so it's like $450 just under 445 it's a lot of money to pay I think for for this I've gotten more detailed pictures in this one from him for about that same price but like I said the shipping and that $25 for taxes is really killing me so yeah I I, <laughs> I think if I buy off them directly from Facebook I don't have to pay those taxes <laughs> you know so I probably would have saved money but uh, whatever. So, but then this is a this is a character that I really wanted done by him for a long, long time, and I just never got around to getting one. Um, I've seen him do it once or twice before, and I never. I, I've had commissions done by him, and I never just never asked him to do one. I did it. He did a Wonder Woman the blank cover for me, but finally I got one of these. So there you go. This is a, a Harley Quinn one. Obviously, you guys can tell that Lenser did. 2020 brand new um pay 400 bucks for it well 450 445 yeah 445 so kind of expensive but it is a linzer original now i did save the receipt on the back i want to show you the receipt because i had my address and everything but he did sign the receipt also so that's kind of cool nice little signature there um but yeah so i got that guys and that's it that's all i got i got nothing more to show um, and uh, guys, I, I want to uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I did post some art videos. You guys want to look at my original art collection? Go ahead and do it. Um, check it out. I did post my Peter Panzerfaust one. I know not too many people looked at it from the last time I looked, but maybe more people watched it. I thought people would be more interested in my Peter Panzerfaust original art collection because I got some a lot of covers in there. Um, I spent quite a bit of money on my collection from Peter Panzerfaust. And it's an awesome series. Um, I'm hoping some. I'm hoping, hoping to make a movie or something out of it. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.